Uh, but uh, again, it is amazing. 9 out of 10, deserves a 10 out of 10. And that's all I can say about that. I finally done with the video. Whew. Turned out great, I think. And I finished it before Christmas, which means I have time with a Christmas special, a new In the Mind of, and of course... Ten years in development, how can this possibly be good? Well, let the disappointment ensue. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! I've been a Final Fantasy fan for many years. I grew up with the 4th and the 10th installments of the series, and both of them are definitely some of my favorite video games of all time. Yet after the 13th games, with Lightning, or as I like to call it, the Bland Death, I gradually lost interest in the series, only playing the MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV as a way to have some sort of small hope for a bright future. And guess what? Square Enix brought it back. How in the world this game turned out good, I have no clue, but oh my god do I love Final Fantasy XV for the fans. And that's what this game is made for. Fans and newcomers. To make one thing clear is that I did not follow this game through its development, so as I've noticed these past couple of weeks is that apparently they've cut a lot of content from what they've shown in all trailers, uh, talked about in all interviews, etc. Uh, so I went in completely blind without the opportunity of feeling disappointment. Actually, I went in a bit negative because the first trailer I saw of Final Fantasy XIII Versus, I believe it was called at the time, uh, was like Noctis being looking very mopey, like an edge lord, <laughs> very much how uh, you know Lightning was and how they turned Cloud in Desidia and Advent Children. Uh, so I. And when I saw how the whole party looked. I mean, how could this be any good? But then, the first cutscene of the game, the first cutscene where only the four characters are with each other. <laughs> love. Just love. Yes, love is what I feel for these guys. Prompto, the comic relief, was as good at shooting with a gun as is with a camera. Ignis, the mother of the group, whose food makes my mouth more wet than a Christmas rib. Gladiolus, the beefcake, who looks as stylish as he fights. And the royal prince himself. Noctis loses Kylum, the smartass. Might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? These four individuals are this game, they make it. If there's one thing they did right in Final Fantasy XV, it would have to be the characters. Main characters, side characters, the antagonists, all of them masterfully written. I finished the story a while ago, and I still think of them. Yet, as I said, the characters are pretty much the only thing that's really good in the story aspect of this game. The narrative itself is nothing special. A prophecy needs to be fulfilled, where a king needs to gain the favor of the gods to wipe out an ancient evil. So as a Final Fantasy game, it has a weak narrative, but the one aspect where it just plain out fails, it is the pacing and the way the story is told. Definitely the final third of the game. No explanations of major plot points, motivation switching behind the scenes, and some characters just disappears altogether. There is one character especially, who starts off really intimidating and full of depth and intrigue, only to show up much later in the story completely changed. Heck, this guy, who this trailer shows off as someone potentially badass, shows up one time in the game. And he just smiles, and he never even gets mentioned. What I find genuinely entertaining is the fact that in all Final Fantasy games, they tell you too much. They give you too much information about 
every single character in the game, whether important or not. But here, they give so little. And yes, I understand that sometimes less is more. But, okay, th there is this one character, okay? And his entire job is to protect the royal family from, you know, danger. Now, he helps you at the, quite early in the game, and he's really powerful. And then he says, okay, I will return once you need me in the far future, whatever. But when you actually get to the point in the game, in the story, where shit hits the fan, where, where they need all the help they can get... Where is he? He's not even mentioned! He's gone! As if he never existed. Now, I know I started this review in quite of a negative way, but... The thing is that when you head into a Final Fantasy game, you're kind of expecting, you know, a really rich story. But this game is kind of weak in that area. But the characters are the focus, oh my god, like when a game with, you know, poor pacing, a mediocre story makes me cry because of just the characters and how well they're written, you know that you're doing something good. Even the antagonist is my new favorite FF villain. I mean, they feel... S even the voice acting and how... they just feel so alive. And what else feels more alive in this game than any of the previous in the series is the gameplay. Holy double F is this game enjoyable to play. No longer is it turn-based combat with random encounters. Final Fantasy XV is an action-based game with quick gameplay, tons of weapons and an open world filled with enemies that you actually can see. I have to admit, really like to have combat like this. Than this. As I said, there are many different types of weapons. Swords, spears, guns, halberds and more. All of them effective against certain types of enemies. You also have a button that allows you to phase through attacks, but it drains your MP and magic is a bit different from the other game as it works more like grenades that you need to make yourself with magical stones around the world that has friendly fire. And as much as I love my teammates, they really do not understand how fire works. And then there's the awesome ability to teleport to your thrown weapon. So cool! While I do indeed like this new system, it still holds some flaws. Number one, if you fight against a whole group of enemies, it can get really difficult to understand what's going on as it's a whole cluster, a marsh pit. So you have no idea when to dodge, attack, you lose a lot of health if you, you know, are not phasing. So that's a huge problem. It doesn't happen against big monsters where they kind of really show their attacks, but small ones, mm. A bit of a problem, and it's common to meet a group of enemies. Number two, this is mostly a nitpick, uh, but Final Fantasy is known for having over-the-top attacks by friendly characters or enemies, but as this game is more action-oriented, you won't really get to see the same extent of cinematic attacks, aside from the random summons. Now do not believe that there are no awesome stuff that can happen in any fight, because some bosses have some hidden properties. One of my favorite boss battles in the entire game is against Aranea Highwind, who is a dragoon who is good at aerial combat. And without the game telling you anything, if you teleport up to a jumping Aranea, this happens. Wow. And all that is action oriented, no bottom prompt told me to do that. And I get the biggest surprise ever. But again, not every boss has something like this. So combat in this game is a great way to move Final Fantasy forward. Uh, I really can't go back to the slow paced strategical combat after playing this game. <laughs> but, of course, this is an open world. So uh, combat is not the only thing you're going to do in uh, this great beautiful land. And what I can say is that this game nails the roleplay aspect in the gameplay department better than any of the previous in the franchise. At least, in my opinion. <laughs> this game nails the small immersive things. As you gain experience points, you won't just level up as you reach a number count, you actually have to sleep to get levels. Either through camping with your friends, go to a hotel, etc. As you are camping, Ignis, who is an amazing cook, can make you some awesome looking food that gives you certain buffs the day after. And you see that? You see, you see that? 
That sort of stuff is what I've wanted in Final Fantasy since the beginning. I'm not joking. Seeing our heroes actually resting is a good way to understand them even better. And this game nails it as there are so many animations and even sometimes your friends may even ask you to do something with them early in the day after. Another thing I really like is when you are driving the car around, Prompto may ask you if you could do a small detour for a picture, as he's the photographer, and this really makes the group feel alive, rather than some small cutscene that happens in, for example, Final Fantasy. 10. The driving, however, it's a bit of a mixed bag. The thing is that Ignis is the group's driver, so he will drive most of the time, but when you first get to, you know, be behind the wheel, it's on rails. You can't go off-road. Uh, there's also the fact that it can take a long time to get to certain areas, up to 9 minutes. The game will allow you to fast travel to some areas if it takes that long, like up to 8 to 9 minutes, but everything under there to 7 minutes have to be experienced real time. Eventually, you will uh, get find parking spots around the world and you can fast travel to every single parking spot. But the thing is, you have to kind of find them first. So at the beginning of the game, there will be a lot of driving uh, long distances. So if you are not a patient person, it will be an annoyance. However, if you get tired of that, you can just explore the world with chocobos! <laughs> The open world is really great exploring with your customized chocobo, doing quests and finding dungeons where there may be some hidden power to aid you in your quests. But I have to say, I really quickly lost interest in the side quests. They are not directly bad, but they really aren't that interesting. Plus every battle gives you plenty of XP, and as there are no loading into a fight, grinding in this game is not really an annoyance. And I never really had to grind that often, just once actually. So what I really like to do, aside from playing some arcade games, was to go on the hunts. You can ask any restaurant area for bounty hunts, and they can be all from several small monsters to a super powerful boss creature. And they are all a treat to play. So it was really strange how the new contracts you get by leveling up your huntsman level or whatever, uh, that the new contracts are against weaker enemies than the ones you've already hunted. So I don't really get that. Now while I absolutely love the gameplay of the game, there is one thing that needs to be mentioned. As this game is chapter based, it will go from being an open world game to a complete linear experience at one of the later chapters to the very end. Now I believe that a linear game tells the best stories, as it is easier to write a proper pacing for the story. However, there is one chapter, chapter 13, that I hate gameplay wise, but love narratively. And the reason for why I have a problem with this is that there's a certain weapon that you only can use here. Just one weapon, and it just... It's, it's so slow, you can't kill enemies efficiently, making the fast-paced gameplay extremely slow, making the game pretty boring. The funny thing is that every Final Fantasy game has some area like this, where everything just turns uh, into something everyone in universally will hate in the community of Final Fantasy. So the developers have said that they will fix that chapter with a future patch, so... Eh? Me? <laughs> The presentation of this game is godlike. Graphics are beautiful, characters and monsters have great designs, and the music, holy! Final Fantasy have some great soundtracks. All of them have that. But this game, Yoko Shimomura, you are a person I want to meet because I love you! Some of the tracks in this game are so great, I bought a super expensive soundtrack. Like, seriously, it's really expensive, but totally worth it! The music oozes of emotions, it is just like they're telling a story of their own. And another thing that is brimmed with emotions is the voice acting, as I think this game has the best VO in the entire franchise, and considering how well the characters are written, the game truly is one great experience to go through with these guys. Final Fantasy XV is the game that saved my love for this franchise. I grew up with all of these games, and seeing it kill itself with the 13 name made me lose my soul but then a game can come out of nowhere which has been a decade in development which I believe that I would hate because of how the main character looked but it revitalized my love for it which is why I will give this game a great fantasy out of final fantasy fantasy it isn't perfect with its uh, weak story department, the horrible pacing, the confusing story elements, chapter 13. And I must also say, 
that I did not watch the movie uh, Final Fantasy XV Kingsclave, I did not watch the anime Bloodlines, it wasn't called Bloodlines, but something with blood I suppose. I didn't watch them because I wanted to see if the game contained itself so that you wouldn't be confused if you haven't watched the other medias. No. <laughs> I highly recommend watching the movie at least, Kingsclave. It's alright, I it's one of the better movies, uh, video game movies. The gameplay department is pretty good. It's mostly nitpicks here and there, like when you face a ton of small enemies, it's confusing to know when you can attack and when you have to dodge all the time. Uh, the side quests did get boring after a while and I stopped doing them and I focused mostly to get XP through finding demons. The hunt, the huntsmen, the bounty hunts were entertaining, but still, the side quest, I lost interest in them. Hmm. The driving... <sighs> You either like it or you'll hate it. I like it, uh, so yeah, <laughs> it's up to you really. If you're able to sit still, put your controller down, and look at someone driving with nice-looking animations and some nice music. But the fast-paced combat is a great evolution. The side activities are entertaining, and uh, you know the small immersive RP stuff is, is something that I really care about. So yeah, uh, I, I'm really excited. I, I, I love this game. I'm really happy it turned out as well. Uh, all I can say is that I am so hoping that they will continue this great work with the DLCs. I bought the season pass, I know you shouldn't do that, but I did. <laughs> that they will, they've said that they will add more to the story with patches, which is inter interesting. Uh, I'm worried that they might screw something up, but still, crossing my fingers. And of course, what will be completely new in the series of Final Fantasy, who knows what they will bring in next time, aside from, of course, the remake of Final Fantasy VII. But until then, I'm King Grim or the King Games, whatever you prefer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hi there, I really hope that you enjoyed my video, because it was a whole month since my last one, and that's unacceptable. Which is why I've made a New Year's resolution, Happy New Year's by the way, a New Year's resolution of making one video per week, every Sunday. So, there will be three types of videos that I will start making. In mind those, the most popular, really hope that you guys who came into this channel by those videos, enjoy my other content like the reviews and etc. Uh, reviews, as I said, mm -hmm. I really hope that you enjoy them, they aren't as editing heavy as In The Mind Those, but they are entertaining to make, I can do a lot of, you know, camera stuff with it. And I really want to do stuff like this with green screen on the In The Mind Zone, but I'm a bit unsure on how to do that yet, so... Right now you'll only see my face on reviews and also game discs, or game discussion videos, where I just talk about uh, uh, future uh, stuff in video gaming, the video game world. <laughs> and um, I also want to expand it a bit so that game discussion videos can also be top 10s, which will obviously have some editing in it, not just me standing there like, Hey guys, you know, I really want a new game. <laughs> no, uh, so you know, all of my stuff will be editing st stuff and uh, have a script and etc. But uh, game discs are mostly there so that if I am kind of uh, I don't have much time for you know w one Sunday where I'm making it in the mind of, then I can quickly make a game disc video so that you guys can at least have something once per week. Because when you guys know you'll have something there Sunday, you will always come back, and that's all I care about <laughs> that you are in my arms. So, um as I said, Happy New Year, I really hope you enjoyed it. And I, what I want to do in the far future <laughs> is to have a Twitch. Uh, I've streamed before, you know, and sometimes I will. But uh, I kind of want to also create a schedule for that. But you know, you have to take one step at a time. And we have to start with just a regular schedule for this beautiful new year. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I will be here next Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter.